I don't have the room, bro. I don't have the room to keep recording these things. Like, I really, really, really don't. You know, I'm on a different phone because my other phone is full with messages that I have to create into videos before I can erase them off my phone. Um, that like I use my phone as a backup, you know, so like, you know, I don't need, I don't erase them until I upload them to YouTube, you know, just in case, you know, so I always have a copy of the message that was given to me. Okay. I don't want just one place where the messages are at, you know, so, um, until I upload it to YouTube, I keep them on my phone. So I'm running out of space, but I'm in my head, you know? And, um, it's just on me to talk about some things, okay? I have to. And I'm sorry for the noise in the background. While I talk to you, I'm not going to keep this long at all because I got to get to work. I already have a recording that I was going to work on. Uh, well, I have a, a recording that I recorded yesterday that I was going to work on compiling the video, uh, today for that, okay? Um... <coughs> And I, I plan on getting that out today. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get it compiled and, and get it out for you today. But in the meantime, I got to talk to you about this. So I'm in my head. And the Father uh, and the Holy Spirit, you know, um, led me to actually pay attention to the Bible verses that I put for the Most High's timing, okay? On a recent video that I released not too long ago, um, entitled, um, Maybe My Absence Will um, Make People Realize uh, Who I... I forget exactly what I freaking named it, bruh. Okay? I forget what I freaking named it altogether. Let me go look, bro. I gotta get my freaking coffee bags in there. Make my coffee. Um, maybe it will take my absence for my sincerity to be realized and valued. All right. So I'm actually in the process of reading these freaking Bible verses, and I, bro, I just started, you know, communicating with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Move, boy, get out of my way. Stop blocking my path, man. I will feed you in a moment. Like, stop that. Quit. I don't want to accidentally step on you. Quit that. Bro, I was reading those Bible verses, bro, and I was communicating with the Father. Um, because I'm just like, wow. Whoa, boy, what the hell? You're in my way. You're in my way. And I don't want you getting... Man, you need to move. You need to move, Tiggy. You need to move. God, brother. He's making this hard for me to record. Now he keeps distracting me. And there's really some deep things that was on my on my mind and in my heart, okay? But um At least I don't have to strain this because I get the freaking coffee bags. Hold on, people. I gotta get my train of thought back because I can't freaking take it away. <sighs> I know I was talking about, you know, reading them Bible verses, but see, I, I, I skimmed over them, you know, to make sure they were in one accord with what was in my spirit, right? <clears throat> But I didn't really take the time to actually sit there and read them and, like, ponder upon it, you know, and commune with the Father about it. And so I was led to do that just a, a few minutes ago, okay, before I started recording this, <laughs> all right? And uh, because, bruh, I was just in my head, you know, I'm not, I'm not uh, fearful, but at the same time, I'm hella concerned about what's going to happen to me. You know, like, I have never done anything like this in my life, you know. Um, bruh, but I know that their time is up. I know their time is up and that um, I will.
was told to walk in my purpose. So I have to trust that. I have to trust that. And um, in the process of trusting that, it does not mean that um, I'm not concerned. Okay, I'm very much concerned that I'm on a freaking countdown to being thrown out on the street. And it's not like I don't see it happening around here. Okay, I've seen a lot of homeless people around here. All right. And like, bruh, they, they are really doing this. They're really like throwing people out on the street from these apartments, you know. And these people got nowhere to go. And then the police come and, you know, when they find a little, you know, cubby hole somewhere, you know, like it's by some business, you know, like the police show up and tell them that they got to move along. So they got to pick up all their stuff because they got cars, they got shopping carts, you know, where all their stuff is in the shopping carts. And, but, you know, like, <laughs> bruh, it's so... This is a messed up world, okay? This is not right, okay? So I'm putting myself, bruh, I'm included, all right? I'm included with them, okay? I'm included with, uh, with those that are oppressed and impoverished, all right? Those that feel like there is no way out of their circumstances, okay, move, I'm here for them, I'm not here to be a follower of this world, okay, and doing what we've all been conditioned to do, get a job to sustain your own life, breeding selfishness and a hardness of heart, that ain't for me, Okay, no, I will rather stand in the gap and go through whatever I have to go through in order to free the people. Okay, I I'm literally walking in my purpose. I don't care about, y about what you believe. I care about you, but I don't care about what you believe. All right, I was trying to get that out the best way possible without insulting you. You know, I, I don't care about what people believe, all right? Our trivial beliefs have no value outside of this world, okay? You need to understand that. You need to come to the realization that your trivial ass beliefs don't go no further than this 3D freaking physical realm that you've been so comfortable and complacent with, okay? And then you want to look down on me because I ain't superficial like you. Now, I ain't trying to freaking insult nobody. I haven't insulted nobody. I'm just speaking what's within me, okay? I am not of this world. But yet I had to grow up all my life in this superficial, fake-ass reality. And now I know that I have been called to do this work. And there ain't no way in hell that I'm going to drop the ball on this to freaking work some job. Within this damn system. Get me, bruh. I am not a conformist. Okay? I am not a follower. I am not a conformist. And though this looks scary as hell, you know, facing homelessness, facing being thrown out on the damn street, because I refuse to work within your system. No, I do the work that my father has given unto me, okay? And I have been doing it. The evidence is on my chant. You ain't gotta believe when you know, okay? I don't have to believe when I know. And I know that I'm doing the right thing. No matter how scary it looks. Okay? <clears throat> Bro, I'm literally on a countdown. Okay? It's a countdown. 
But let me read some of these verses to you. I ain't even get all the way <laughs> down, done with them. You know, I ain't, I ain't finish them all because I was just floored. I was floored at the first one and the second one and the third one and the fourth. Bruh, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like for real? <sighs> Habakkuk. Now, you know how I am about these freaking names, all right? Let me get a drink of coffee. Ah. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Psalms twenty seven fourteen. Wait on the good shepherd. Wait on the eternal power. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait. I say, on the good shepherd, on the eternal power. Because the good shepherd is the one leading, okay? That's the one I follow. And the good shepherd has pointed to the eternal power. Give all praise, honor, and glory to the eternal power. And the good shepherd sent us the Holy Spirit. To also lead and guide us because the good shepherd is no longer on the earth. Now what's leading and guiding us is the Holy Spirit. But we follow the good shepherd that we get to know through the Holy Spirit. Okay? Like, bro, I, I used to I used to not understand. But you know, as I got to know my maker, um, more and more of these things began to make sense. You know? The Holy Spirit is a feminine spirit. It's a feminine energy, okay? It's a feminine power. All right? So they did business in his word, bro. Changing the Holy Spirit. To a he. Ah. Mm. And that was Isaiah forty thirty one. But they that wait upon the eternal power shall renew their strength. Why does it say renew their strength, bro? Because these devils wear us the hell out, okay? I be getting so tired. Yeah, they wear me out, bro, because I don't have the type of heart <laughs> that most people have. So it wears me down, bro. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Ecclesiastics 8.6 Because to every purpose there is time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of man is great upon him. I pondered on that. I took that to heart. And I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. The great turmoil and suffering, lacking, wanting, you know, great need of many things, you know, sleeping on a broke down ass bed for over a year, bro, for actually for a long, long period of time, longer than that. So, I've, I've spoken about it several times on my channel. 
you know, not because I'm trying to have people feel sorry for me, no, it's just a fact that I am supposed to put my circumstances on this channel, okay, I don't do it to make people feel sorry for me, I'm telling you the reality of my life, okay, um, that being said, you know, when I read this scripture, because to every purpose there is time and judgment, therefore the misery of man is great upon him. I'm just like, oh my God, no wonder, bro, no wonder. Because I know, bro, I know that I know that I know. And all my life, I knew I was here to do something. I just didn't know what it was, okay? But now I know what I'm here to do, all right? And I have been prepared for this my entire freaking life. This is why my life has been hell, literally, utterly. I wondered, I always wondered why my life was hell, you know, but it was that refining, it was that purging, um, sending the one third, I will send the remaining third through the fire, you know, <sighs> of adversity, of affliction, of in want and need of all things, you know. Um, being under the thumb of the worst of the heathen, being in the under the rule of my oppressors and them that hate me, you know. Ecclesiastics three one, to everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Proverbs three five through six. Trust in the eternal power with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. See, that scripture resonates so deep with me right now, bro. People use that out of context so much, bro. But I ain't even gonna go into that. I'm gonna give you the proper context, okay? Because it doesn't make sense to me. Why the rent's late? Why the internet's late? You know, incurring late fees. Like, in my natural mind, my human mind, you know, I'm like, well, Father, that's contrary to your word. Because your word says that you are always right on time. You know, that you, that, you know, don't tarry. You don't tarry. You come through, you know, in the end. And because now it has a late fee, like, it's past the end, Father. Like, and, like, how far is this going to go, Father? You know, am I literally going to end up on the street before you intervene? Um, on this, <laughs> like, like, where, like, how, how far is this going to go, Father? I don't understand, you know, I don't understand, Father. How is the 12th? How is the 12th now? And, you know, uh, like, I have no idea how I'm going to make these payments. I have no idea. When there's only, there's literally 37 cents, 38 cents, something like that in my bank account and zero dollars on my cash app last time I checked because I don't stock my cash app. Okay. Um, the last time I checked, I believe it was, uh, two days ago or the day before yesterday, the day, cause I didn't check it yesterday. Okay. I didn't, I didn't log in cash app yesterday. Um, I think it was the day before yesterday that was the last time I checked it and it still had that weird notification there But when I click on it, there's nothing. Okay, zero dollars in my cash app. All right, so I in my human mind I don't understand. Okay, so that scripture is very very relevant to me <sighs> Lean not to thine own understanding. Trust in the Most High. Trust in the eternal power with my whole heart. Lean not to my own understanding. Galatians 6, 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season 
we shall reap if we faint not. Bruh, now I'm not saying this to brag whatsoever. I just, I want to make this abundantly crystal clear who I am and how I have applied his word to my life. Now, I didn't even know that scripture existed, okay? Now, not just this scripture, because this this is in Galatians, and we know who Galatians was pretty much pinned on, you know, Paul. So, I always have to freaking um, look up cross-references, you know, to Paul's scripture. You know, and a lot of times it's not there in the Bible because a lot, a lot of Paul's, a lot of Paul's things comes from the, um, his stuff comes from, uh, things that they left out of the Bible. Okay. Like the same gospel of peace. Okay. <laughs> and you know, um, the, the same gospel of Yahushua HaMashiach. Okay. Ah, man, bro. Woo. That coffee hot. Ah, man. Um, but, okay, let me get back to what I was going to tell you. I went to the store uh, on the bus on Saturday. Was it Saturday? No, it was Friday. Yeah, cause I didn't go. I didn't go to the store yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. It might have been Saturday. Damn it, I don't even remember now. You know, hold on. Let me see. What day did I go to the freaking store, bro? I think it was two days ago. Was it Saturday or was it Friday? I don't even remember. I think it was Friday, bro. I think it was Friday that I went to the store. So yeah, I went to the store. And, um, I had my, my boom box with me in my backpack. Um, went to, uh, Reesers first and then Whole Foods. Okay. Reesers and Whole Foods. And then, um, took the bus back to my neighborhood to go to the, um, Cox Saver so that I could get two cases of water. Okay. Now I said all of that, but I'm going to, I'm going to go back. That's, that's what I went out for. Okay. When I got off the, um, when I got off the bus at Reesers, um, there was this dude out there. Okay. And he seemed homeless. And he was, he was drunk. He was drinking. It's early in the morning. It's like maybe like 10. Um, it was before noon, bro. It was before noon. And, um, <clears throat> so he, he was, he was sipping. He was getting his drink on, you know, and he was enjoying my music. All right. So every, every time I, I go out, I tend to take my boom box with me, you know, and I'm, you know, the music that I play is, um, you know, uplifting music, you know, Hebrew is all like music, you know, um, so anyway, one of these days I'll, I'll, you know, do some DJing on this channel, okay, um, that's, that's one of my heart's desires to, is to get into that one day, um, when I have time, bro, cause I don't know when I'm hell, I'm gonna have time to do that, all right, I'm just saying that that, that's one of my, desires is to is to do uh music from time to time you know dj or something you know um just share with you the music that i have okay share with you um the collection of music that i have anyway back to the freaking story bro so he's grooving to my tunes right <laughs> and uh he's like oh but you about to leave because I, I was like fixing my jeans you know like um like they they were it was sagging a little bit too much you know what I'm saying like I I, I like them on on my lower hips you know but I don't, I don't like them you know halfway down my ass okay so I was adjusting my jeans you know I had to unbuckle them and um, pull them up you know and and fa refasten them you know so that you know that way I could you know walk from the bus stop to the freaking research, okay, without my jeans falling down off me, so anyway, um, 
as I was doing that, he was grooving to my tunes, and he was like, oh, you about to leave. I was like, yeah, I got to do my grocery shopping. And um, so uh, he, like, he just was, like, engaging me, you know. And um, I engaged him back. I was like, you know, what you drinking on, what you sipping on? And he showed me, you know, some kind of peach drink, um, some kind of um, peach. I forget the dang thing. I forget exactly what it was, but it was some kind of peach beer, you know. Um, kind of like a Four loco, but it wasn't a Four loco. But um, I remember back in the days, bro. I mean, hell, I ain't never been the type to freaking wake up in the morning and drink. I may, be, I may have done that once or twice, you know, at a party. Like, you know, like overnight party. Like, when they, this is what they did. So, <laughs> you know, and they were like, at first, I'm just like, hell no. But I think, I think once or twice, I might have done it. But, bro, I never made that a habit. Hell no. Like, I don't want to drink first thing in the morning, bro. Like, I'm not the type of person to drink until it's freaking dark outside, all right? <laughs> like, usually, okay? Um, but, yeah, bro, I was lit at, like, 1030 in the morning. <laughs> but I'm not judgmental, and I'm, I wasn't there to judge him. You know, I was there to be a light to him. You know, and so I was just cool with him, you know, and um, I didn't mention nothing about the Bible. I mentioned nothing about my channel. Um, just was there to be a light in his life, you know, um, engage him a little bit, you know, and um, I didn't stay. This was on my way walking, you know, to the research, but I stopped for a second, asked him what he was drinking. Um, gave him a dap, you know, um, well, he reached out to give me a dap, so I gave him a dap, and, um, I was walking away, I, I told him to have a good day, and I was walking away, and the Holy Spirit quickened within me, you got cigarettes that you rolled, you rolled some extra cigarettes, ask him if he would like a smoke, so I asked him, I turned him, I stopped in my tracks, and, you know, I went back, and I'm like, hey, would you like a smoke? And he was like, yeah, yes, yes, most definitely. <laughs> and he was very, very grateful for that, you know. And, bruh, yes, I gave him a smoke. He says, I already have a light. I gave him a smoke, you know. And uh, so, yeah, uh, I told him, I was like, I remember what is, he tried to give me a sip of his beer, you know, before I even walked out the first time, you know. And um, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good, I'm good. You enjoy it, you know. Uh, I was like, I used to do it, you know, I ain't no judgment here, brother, you know, <laughs> and um, so I gave him a smoke, and I was like, I, I, I remember what it's like, you know, when I drink, you know, I want to smoke while I'm drinking, you know, so um, enjoy that, you know, and then I went ahead and left and walked to the research, research. so um, that scripture that says, let us not be weary in well-doing, that was be not being weary in well-doing, okay? I literally live what I speak, okay? Um, the type of heart that I have is very rare upon this earth. I don't say that in arrogance, okay? Um, so for in due season, we shall reap if we faint not, okay? Now, Second Peter, I uh, I don't I don't you know. Oh no, it says Second uh, Peter three eight. See, I I don't I don't agree with everything within Second Peter. Um, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day, is with, the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Now. In the, that that's verified in other scriptures. So, <clears throat> um, Psalms thirty-seven three through four, trust in the Most High, trust in the eternal power, and do good, do good. All right, trust in the Most High and do good. That, that was doing good. I'm trusting in the Most High. And while I'm trusting in the Most High, I do good upon this earth. Now, I know that the self-righteous people will be like, 
cigarettes ain't good for people. You happen to kill him. Hey, bro, but the brother is a smoker, okay? And he just didn't have the funds to, you know, support his habit. But he would have enjoyed a smoke, okay? So that's doing good, all right? Like, you gotta, you gotta melt your stony heart. Your self-righteousness will get you purged in the fire, okay? And you don't want that, okay? Because the self-righteous hypocrites are going to get it the worst, all right? All of you that are self-righteous and judgmental, bruh, <laughs> you do not have much time. To melt your stony heart. Unlearn what you've been taught to believe all your life. Okay? Unlearn these things. Stop allowing hatred to rule your life. Stop allowing dogmatic belief systems to control you. Like, bruh. It's gonna get you purged through fire. By your counterfeiting spirit, okay? It's like you create this counterfeit spirit, all right? Because your original spirit comes from the Father. And your original spirit wants to follow and obey the Father, okay? It wants to do good. Wants to love. Wants to walk in obedience to your maker, all right? Your spirit wants this, okay? You you have a conscience, all right? You know right from wrong. You know to treat your neighbor the way you want to be treated, okay? When you do this, you know it makes you feel joyful inside. It makes your spirit joyful, okay? But these days, people are living to make their flesh joyful, okay? Their outer package. They're living their carnal desires, and they're suppressing their spirit. Therefore, they create a counterfeit spirit, which is going to torment them, okay? And you don't want that kind of purging, because that kind of purging is like hellfire, okay? That, you can't get away from that. You are going to be tormented by your own counterfeit spirit that you created in rebellion against your maker. Okay? It's not complicated. That's why you're going to reap what you sow, bro. Unrepented sin... It's prut. Fear. Yes, you best fear. That fear better move you to freaking repent, okay? Because, bruh, can you just, can you imagine? Mm, mm, mm. And the spirit realm is not what you've been told, all right? You, you, it, it's like, it's like, this world, but on steroids, okay? Yeah. Then you, you can teleport. You can be wherever you want to be, whenever you want to be. Like, bro, your spirit, okay? The spirit world is way different than this, but it's, it's, like, it's like on a whole nother level. Is this, but like I said, on steroids, Okay? Now, bruh, I ain't even mean to get all off into that, okay? <sighs> Trust in the Most High and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land. And verily, and verily, thou shalt be fed, okay? Thou shalt be fed. I shall dwell in the land, and I shall be fed, okay? Because my trust is in the eternal power. And I have applied his word, okay, to my life. Luke 18, 27. And he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with the most high, the eternal power of love and life. See, 
Most people will say it's impossible to live your life upon this earth without working a job. And because they have that mentality and they want to run with that premise, they want to project falsehoods onto me and those like me. They say things like, oh, you expect others to take care of you. But that's not what I have ever said out my mouth. I have brought this word that the Father said to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and then all of these things will be supplied unto you. Okay? That's what I have brought forth. I have also brought forth the fact that he does use people in order to do his will upon this earth. Okay? Yes, there are some of his that he has upon this earth that has abundance, and their purpose is to sow unto those whose purpose is to do his will upon the earth. Okay, his will for my life may not be the same for other people. We all have our purpose according to the will of the Most High. And it lines up with our life circumstances because everything that we go through in our life is preparing us to walk in our purpose. But this world diminishes that, okay? Everything we're taught within this world makes you suppress what you're here to do according to the Most High. And you do what you've been instructed to do by this system, okay? And you think it's impossible not to trust in this system, but to trust your maker. Well, I trust my maker, and I say, screw this satanic ass system, bruh. It ain't never done nothing for me. I have worked many jobs, and I was still freaking poor, okay? Lamentations 3, 25 through 26. The eternal power is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Okay? See, I have sought my heavenly power. Ecclesiastes 3, 11. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that the Most High maketh from the beginning to the end. Wow, bro. That's a lot packed into that. And I ain't got time to break it down, okay? Because I want to get off of here. And we're just going to go ahead and continue because we'll break. We'll, bro, I flow by way of the Spirit. Maybe he'll have me break it down later. But I ain't got time to break down right now because I want to get through the rest of these uh, scriptures. Genesis eighteen fourteen. Is anything too hard for the eternal power? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah sh shall have a son. Now, th this is just an example, Okay. This is just one of the examples how the cause Sarah was in her old age, okay? Keep in mind that Sarah was in her old age, all right? I didn't even finish this dang cigarette that I was making, bro. Um, I haven't smoked a cigarette today, okay? Uh, she, was a, she was old, and so was Abraham when, when she actually had a son, you know, I, uh, Isaac. Yep, Isaac. Because she tried to help the Most High out. 
giving Abraham her, her handmaid, you know, and creating Ishmael and creating problems because you're trying to help the Most High out. <laughs> you know, like me, that would be like me going to my family, you know, asking them to help me because I'm facing, you know, homelessness. I got an eviction notice. So that would be like me going to my family. Asking them to help me. All I would do is create problems for myself. Because all they would do is spew out to me the wisdom of this world. Okay? And how irresponsible I am. And all of these things. But I know that I'm doing the right thing. Okay? I am not to trust in money. Okay? I am to trust in the eternal power. You have you have gotten it backwards. Many people are trusting in their money. They don't truly trust in the eternal power. You will not work your jobs unless you are trusting in your money. Because you work your jobs in order to get your money. In order to sustain your own life. Therefore, you're trusting in money. And you think you are trusting in the Father. You think you're trusting in the Most High. Because you think that He ordained this system. And your job. You think He helped you get your job. He ain't had nothing to do with the creation of this system and your job. That all came from Lucifer. Now, there may be some righteous jobs out there, okay? Some. Very few. All right? Because the Father can use anything for good, okay? No matter what, no matter what it is, the Father can use whatever for good okay so that being said just because you know mostly these just because these jobs in the system came from lucifer does not mean that the father can't use some of these jobs to be you know righteous okay some of the some of it to be righteous he is not like he can't do that so that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is Overall, it did not come from him. This came from Lucifer, okay? He told you what to do, but you're not doing what he said to do. You're not seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness and allowing him to supply all of your wants and needs. No, you're supplying it yourself by working your job, okay? But you want to look your nose down at me and project all kinds of falsehoods onto me. Now, 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Okay. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Imagine the glory it will bring to the Most High. Imagine the glory that 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 is going to, bruh. Imagine how He is going to shine, okay? Because I don't have the power to move these mountains. And people know this, okay? Many people know my circumstances. They know my situation. So if by some miraculous event, my poverty gets overturned, which is within my spirit, is going to happen. I don't know when. I don't know how. Um... It's just in my spirit that, you know, um, things are about to flip upside down, okay? Those that are heavily impoverished is about to become wealthy. And those that are extremely wealthy are about to be humiliated and impoverished, okay? 
I don't know when this is going to happen, bro, but I know we're in the season of that. Um, and not that I'm wishing that upon anybody, but bro, the wicked have been living lavishly upon this earth at the expense of the righteous for centuries, okay? Thousands of years they've been doing this, all right? So, they are going to reap what they have sown, bro. And those of us of pure heart that has pretty much sown good deeds all of our life, you know, but yet we've been trodden down by the wicked, nonetheless. We're about to, it's, a, it's about to explode in our life and it's going to blow our mind, okay? It's going to blow our mind the goodness of the Most High, okay? Um, and the Father knows I can't wait, bro, because I am so tired of suffering, all right? Now... He's made strong in weakness, okay? Most gladly, therefore, I will rather glory in my infirmities. <clears throat> I will rather glory in my infirmities that the power of the Hamashiach may rest upon me. See, I rather be impoverished with the wisdom and the knowledge that he has bestowed upon me with the understanding, with the overstanding, with the inner standing, all of that, bro. Like, I understand. I definitely get it. I grasp this life. Why we're here. You know, what has happened? What is to come? I have been given these things by the eternal power. And I... <laughs> Bruh, I'm ecstatic. I'm very grateful for this. And I, and I would much rather have this and glory in this than any of the riches of this world because that shit is trivial, bro. Now that, that's about to pass away because the Father never put a value system upon anything, all right? No, he, the, the earth has resources for everybody to live in abundance, bruh. You've been complacent with a few, taking control over everything, and, and placing everybody under captivity, okay? You've been complacent with that. Well, I've never been complacent with that, okay? I always wondered, like, what, what's going on? What, what the hell, bro? The, and I'm, I'm just told life ain't fair all my life. I'm just told life ain't fair. Get over it. <laughs> like, bro. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I wanted to find out why it wasn't fair. Okay. Bro, let me get through this. Hebrews 6.12. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. I have not been slothful. You can clearly see on my channel, I have been busy, very busy doing this work, okay? Clearly, you can see I am a follower of the Good Shepherd, okay? With faith and patience, Therefore, I will inherit the promises that were spoken to my spirit, all right? I don't know how long, uh, you know, till then. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how long. Psalms 31, 15. My times are in thine hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. You know, I don't want to be on the street, bro. No, I don't. But am I going to go out there <laughs> and beg some company to hire me so that I can earn a paycheck to prevent myself from being on the street? <laughs> no, because I will have to leave this. I will have to leave this work to do that. And I know that that is not the right choice for me. Okay. Micah 7.7 7. Therefore I will look unto the Most High. Therefore I will look unto the Most High. I will wait 
for the Most High of my salvation. My power will hear me. Psalms 46.10 Be still and know that I am the Most High. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Okay? Oh, yes. He is about to be exalted amongst the heathen. He is going to be exalted in the earth through his willing vessels. Oh, yes, he is. The glory of the Most High is about to shine forth upon this earth. Okay? John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Isaiah 55, 8 through 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Most High. So my thoughts is like, well, Father, you're always on time. You know, how, like, how is it late? My thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are his ways my ways. Okay? Like, he's, he's always been on time before. Like he always, you know, gave me the funds ahead of time before. You know, like, what's different this time? Like, what's the tarry, Father? Am I really going to have to be homeless? Like, like, how, how far are you going to prove me, Father? Like, like are you going to let the sheriff department literally put me and Tiggy out on the street? Like, you know? Bruh. Like, are you, are you going to let the internet get cut off? Like, like, Father, how, how am I going to be able to do this work that, that I know you called me to do if this happens, <laughs> you know? Now, um, this is almost an hour long, bro. But there was something else that he put upon my spirit, <clears throat> and, and I was pondering this the other day. And I was just like, because, you know, the scriptures where he led me, you know, um, let me get the scripture. There's a few, there's a couple, um, let me get it while it's flowing. And the one that says, he that loses his life shall find it, you know. So I'm actually laying down my life for this truth, okay, that's within me, okay. Um, hold on. So this is taking up our cross, okay. My cross that I was born with is poverty, okay. That's my cross that I have to take up and carry it, okay? Because this is this is the I, like I'm a living witness, okay? And my life, um, this is it was my life because of my calling, my purpose, okay? See the things that we struggle with the most is attached to our calling, okay, so, um, me being born impoverished, okay, um, struggling my whole life, you know, in much want and much need, is because truly, I am wealthy, okay, spiritually, I'm wealthy, okay, um, and it will manifest itself, um, eventually, physically, okay, but I have to go through the refining process, okay, and so that, that's my cross that I have to carry, all right, um, not put down the cross and do what this world tells me that I must do, no, 
I have to do what the Messiah did. And he laid down his life for, because I, I was going to say he laid down his life um, for all humanity and all creation, basically. Okay. Now he was not a sacrifice for our sin. Let me break down what I'm saying, okay? Because they threw a blanket on this and made it like he came to die for our sin. That is not the case, okay? But he could have stopped his murder. He did not have to allow them to murder him. Well, he did in order to do his mission, you know, to loose the shackles of those that have passed and that were in, um the uh ab- ab- abyss that that were waiting you know for the deliverer to come and free them the souls that were trapped okay um so um that was one of his missions what well, he knew he was going to die and as he died, the three days that he was, you know, in the abyss of the earth, he was freeing those that were, that were captive down there. Okay. And so he freed the, the, the souls, the spirits that were down there. All right. He released them. Okay. And, um, the other thing he did was send us the Holy spirit. Okay. But he, Lay down his life because I say it like that because he did not call upon ten thousands of angels to stop his murder. And he could have very well done that, but he didn't do that. So in that case, he laid down his life. Okay. He allowed them to murder him. Okay. Just like I am not to put down my cross of poverty Um, I am to endure while I do what I've been called to do upon this earth, okay? Continuously until I'm put to death, okay? And in my situation, my circumstances, being put to death would be being put out of my apartment, okay? Come 7-6, okay? So literally on a countdown, all right? Internet be cut off on 6.30, okay? Now, I I don't know if they added a late fee or not. They probably did, okay? It's a $15 late fee. I ain't logged in there to see. And I'm trying to get off of here, so I ain't trying to stay on here, okay? Anyone who does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. All you people professing to follow Jesus, you are not following Jesus. You are following the ways of this world. What cross are you carrying? Huh? Why you put it all upon him? He told you to take up your cross. He told you anyone who does not take up his cross and follow him is not worthy of him. So what the hell do you mean that he died for your sin? Whosoever finds his life shall lose it. Whoever finds his life shall lose it. You're finding your life by working your jobs. You're sustaining your own life. But yet you're losing your life. You're not walking in your purpose. You're not doing what you were ordained to do upon this earth. You are doing what you have been told to do. You are a carbon copy. You are a robot that this system created, okay? And you're doing the will of Satan upon this earth, okay? You're working to line the pockets of the elite upon this earth, this so-called elite, all right? Whosoever, whoever loses his life for my sake will find it, okay? I'm willing to lose my life for the sake of this true gospel, okay? Not the one that's been polluted and perverted for hundreds of freaking years and spread by way of the sword all over the earth. And here in the freaking fourth part, the final part, the Americas. He who receives you receives me. 
And he who receives me receives the one who sent me. Okay? That's what the Messiah said. If you receive me, if you receive these messages that are coming through the willing vessel, you will receive the Messiah. And the Messiah said that you'll also receive the one that sent us. Okay? Luke 17.33 Whosoever seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Okay? It's in Mark as well. It says it over and over again. It says it in John. Whosoever loves his life will lose it. Many of you people love this world. You love your life in this wicked ass world ran by the worst of the freaking heathen. But whosoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. I hate this world. Okay? I literally detest this world. I don't fit in this world. I am an alien in this world. I am not of this world. I live in this world, but I am not of it. Okay? So all my life has been hell upon this earth. Okay? Now on that note, shalom.